What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you on how to get your microphone input and displayed on a bar. You can use this for multiple things, for example making a horror game where if you talk the AIs and creatures can hear you and so on. It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing I have to do is open up my third person character blueprint. Let's go to third person blueprints and open this up. And of course, you might not be using the third person character blueprint, so you would just open your player blueprint. And basically, what we need to do is add a new component that will basically get our microphone. In this case, it will be the audio capture under synth. And we can just add it, leave the name how it is. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of different details and properties that we can use. Now, if we go down, you can see that we have this event, which is the on audio envelope value. And if we just add this into our event graph, you can see that this will return a float. This is our microphone input value. And basically we can control this float to do things. So first of all, let's make sure that we'll basically print this to the screen so we can see what is going on. So let me go ahead and just print a string and let's connect the envelope audio in here. So we will be able to see it on the screen, the values. Now the thing is that if I now just press play, you can see that um, you should be able to hear me. Um, and that's, if you could, if you cannot hear yourself, okay, that is basically because um, it is um, not getting your microphone, okay? This is very important. So if it is not getting your microphone, well, that is because it has not been activated. So very important, we have to go ahead and click auto activate, which might be by default or not. So make sure to enable this and now it will be activated. So now, yes, if I press play, you can, you can see, see that we have uh -huh. values, but I am hearing myself. So first of all, to stop hearing myself, uh, if you want to hear yourself, okay, but I'm not gonna go insane. <laughs> so let's go and use disable under effects, enable buzz uh, submix, just disable that. And now you will not hear yourself, okay? And that's a bit better. And uh, so this will automatically get your default microphone. So make sure that your default microphone is the one that you want in windows and then we have all this prints as you can see it is the value if i don't speak it is pretty much silent kind of zero comma zero zero and if i speak we have larger values but let's just go ahead and round these numbers up and it will be ideal to have them in a range between zero and one so we can use them more appropriately in our uh, widget bar and whatever because right now of course this values is very hard to work with so what we can do is simply just move this into the right and we can use this log node okay and basically what we can do is put a base of 10 and now if i connect this you will see that indeed this will make the numbers and uh, now they're more clear but they're negative right uh, so now it is a better value that we can use but still it is kind of we want to kind of invert it right so what we can do is basically make a clamp uh, range so just drag it and say map range uh, clamp there we go and now basically we can override the values so the ones that are in the range and as you can see right now if I uh, press play okay um, let me just uh, put this here of course press play you can see that I have different values and mainly it is from uh, minus 2.5 slash 3 um, to basically kind of uh, like minus 1 right so let's put this to be around minus 2.7 kind of it was and then the other value which in this case was around what did I say 1 and we can just put this to be from 0 to 1 and now the values will be in that specific range. As you can see, if I don't speak, zero. But if I speak, it goes up into 0 0.3, 0 0.4. And if I go ahead and go 
like <laughs> sorry about that uh louder it will go more to one maybe if i basically change a bit the range to around 0.7 that will help it go a bit more into higher numbers as you can see so it really is about um playing around with the values but if we go to negative it will actually be a bit better so i think like minus 0.7 is a better range there we go that that is more than what i want is more between 0.7 and so on so you can just play around with the range to get what you want but now we got more of a range between zero and one which is what we want so let's go ahead and right click and promote this to variable so we have the value to variable and this will be mic um value all right and let's go ahead and set it over here so now we are going to be displaying it on a um slider okay on a basically a bar in our widget so first of all let's quickly just create a user interface widget user widget that will be underscore mic for example doesn't really matter and then let's go here add a canvas panel into our widget so we can uh, just add stuff and let's add this progress bar um and just add it maybe like i don't know what maybe let me just add it big in the middle of the screen okay and let me change the anchor at the center okay so now as you can see this percent goes from exactly zero to one so there we go so imagine that uh we have this at you know 0.7 that will be kind of there so what we need to do is update this percent to be that value so we can just click here into bind create binding and now we can just access our character blueprint so we can just say um get player character and it will find our character in the level and then cast to the third person character blueprint and now we have access to our blueprint and we can get that mic value that we created earlier and now we can just plug that in connect that and now we just need to go back to the third person character and in the begin play when the game starts i just want to add that new widget that we just created in this case it is the mic and just add this to the viewport and with that said now if we compile and press play we have our microphone in the middle of the screen and it works as you can see while i talk we have the microphone working which is what we want so that's it for this tutorial if you found helpful or really appreciate it, you can like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out check out my unreal course at game.tv link in the description join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye Thank <laughs> you.